Hello, grade 9. This is short summary for Unit 2, Lesson 2, Lenses, Session 1. What is a lens? Lens is a transparent medium that refracts the light and it's limited with two spherical surfaces. Light refraction, as you see here, is the change of the light path when it travels from one transparent medium, such as the air here, and to another transparent medium, such as water. And these two transparent mediums have different optical density. Uses of lenses. Number one, they are used in medical eyeglasses, either for reading or for walking. Number two, in telescope to form enlarged and near images for celestial bodies. Number three, it's used in microscopes to form magnified images for tiny bodies that can be seen by the naked eyes. Number four, used in binoculars to see far objects. And finally, it's used in magnifier lens to see small, tiny parts. Types of lenses. Number one, convex lens. It's called the converging lens. It's a transparent optical piece, which is thick at its center and less thickness at the tips. Concave lens is a transparent optical piece which is thin at its center and more thickness at the tips. Give reason, convex lens is called the converging lens as it collects light rays falling on it. Concave lens is called diverging lens. Give reason as it separates light rays falling on it. Special concepts related to the lenses. Number one, center of curvature of the lens face, C. The center of curvature is the center of the sphere where this face is a part of it. Each lens has two centers of curvature. The optical center of the lens, P, this is the point inside the lens, on the principal axis in the mid distance between its two faces. Radius of curvature, this line shows the radius of curvature. It's the half diameter of the sphere where this face is the part of it. The principal axis, this line shows the principal axis. It's a straight line that joins between two centers of curvatures of the lens passing through the optical center. Each lens has only one principal axis. The secondary axis is a line that passes through the optical center of the lens except the principal axis. The lens has an uncountable number of secondary axes. Number six, the focus of the lens, F, or it's called principal focus. It's at the point, as you see here, this point of collection of the refracted light rays, of course, this is in the case of convex lens, or their extensions in the case of concave lens. In the case of convex lens, as you see here, because we can receive this focus on a screen, so this focus is called real focus. And in the case of the concave lens, we can't receive this focus on a screen, so it's called virtual focus. The lens has two focuses. Number seven, the focal length of the lens. It's the distance between the, um, between the focus and the optical center. This distance shows the focal length of the lens. The relation between the focal length and the radius, the focal length equals a half radius. The lens has two centers of curvature. Give reason, because it has two spherical surfaces. Exercise one, what happens when a beam of light rays parallel to the principal axis falls on the surface of convex lens and that of concave lens? Number one, in the case of convex lens, the parallel rays passing through the convex lens they are converged and collected in a real focus of the lens. In the case of concave lens, the parallel rays passes through the concave lens, they will diverge and their extensions are collected in a virtual focus. A 
piece of paper can be burned by using a convex lens. Give reason. Because convex lens can converge and concentrate the parallel rays of sunlight in a point which is called real focus, which leads to the burning of this paper. Which of the opposite lenses has a larger focal lens and why? We have thin lens, this is lens A, and thick lens, this is lens B. In the case of thin lens, or this one, lens A, it has larger focal lens because its convexity is so small, so its focus will be further away from the optical center. In the case of the thick lens, it has small focal lens because its convexity is large, so the focus will be near from the optical center. Thanks for watching. See you next session, inshallah. Goodbye.